Rose was just an ordinary child um, and at the age of seven um, Rose just made a couple of comments with regards to having difficulties at school but I thought what I'll do is just dot the I's, cross the T's and take her for an, an eye test and from there we spent six weeks going back and forth to London um, having various tests for her to be confirmed as star guards. Basically Rose has no central vision so she could be you could be stood at a doorway and she will see the shape and potentially could make out it's a you know, male or a female, but she can't see the detail. I thought there was things wrong, but I didn't, I thought everyone else was seeing it too, because I didn't know it was a condition. You're always thinking ahead of how it's going to impact Rose. Where we were from that initial stage, we've moved tenfold. The shock's gone. We're still not happy with the outcome. We'd rather things were very, very different. But we've been very fortunate that she does everything that everybody else does and we try and support her in everything that she can do. We got the news and we knew nothing. We knew nobody. We were told it was rare. Eventually I found Fight for Sight and I can remember ringing someone sort of said, look, this is what's happened. This is what's happened to my daughter. And that December, Fight for Sight had an open evening uh, where they invited some Stargard families to come and that's how we've become involved with Fight for Sight and also that's how I've got the more information over the years really. The future for Rose I'm sure is going to be positive and bright. I'm convinced of that and it, we will support Rose whichever way, whatever she wants to do. But there's going to be challenges, big challenges. I'd love to be in the performing industry. We believe Fight for Sight can achieve an awful lot on our on behalf of us, really, as a family, but also other families in the same position. We believe there is a cure out there. We've just got to raise the funds.